Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today, I'm gonna be replacing my spark plugs because the other day I started my car and uh, it was shaking a little bit and I plugged in my scanner. It was shaking and then the engine light came on, the check engine light came on. So I plugged in my scanner, which is right here, and I got a misfire code on cylinder number three so I have the new spark plugs here so I'm gonna be replacing these today because my spark plugs are no good because I swap uh, cylinder number three well I, I swap it was number three so I swap cylinder number two with number three and then number three went away and number two came on so that means that my plugs are no good because I already had replaced my um, my coils. So I'm going to be uh, gapping these to um, 44. So this is the little gap tool here. So all you got to do is put it here on the thin side. And you go all the way up to 44. Right about there. That's 44 right there, guys. So you got to do these, all four of them, just like that. Because my car only takes four. And the spark plugs that I bought are the Autolite Platinum, the Platinum ones. I had the uh, NG case before. This is the part number. This is a 2005 uh, Civic LX 1.7 engine. I had installed the NGKs before, but for some reason I think those NGKs weren't the, the original ones because I bought them off eBay. So I think those plugs were very bad. So I bought these. And uh, I bought these at the auto parts, auto advance around here. So these are better. So I'm going to put these on right now. Finish gapping these. It's a 44. And then um, I'm going to be installing these guys. And then I'll check with my scanner again to see if that uh, misfire code pops back up. See what happens. Which it shouldn't. So, let's see what happens, guys. I did another video the other day when I scanned the car, but for some reason the video didn't come out the right way, so I had to delete it. So, I'm making this one now. And um, see how this comes out. But um, I'm going to be making another few videos within the next week because I'm going to be working on my suspension on my car. I'm going to be installing my uh, struts, uh, tie rods, lower control arm, ball joints. So I'll be doing all that soon. So, okay, I just finished gapping all four plugs. And... Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put these on real quick. So there they go. Okay, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm going to start uh, removing the old plugs. First, you got to unscrew here. Just halfway. This one also. Lift this up. It's like a little plastic uh, cover here. It's no big deal. And now, I'm going to be loosening up these, uh, these are 10 millimeter nuts. It's one, two, three, and four. You loosen these up with a 10 millimeter, three eighths. All you need is a 10 millimeter socket and a five eighths socket for the spark plugs. The three eighths ratchet. And a flathead screwdriver, like this one here. That's pretty much it, guys very very easy and quick
Now, what you gotta do is move the coil and disconnect it from here. Start taking out the spark plugs. So this is one of the plugs here. Put these new ones on. You wanna put these in by hand, guys. And um, just put them real snug, you know? You don't have to tighten them a lot. About a half a turn after you, after it stops when you tighten it by hand. Or well, turn, turn and a half. It's good. See how quick that was? Just one spark plug done. Let's put the coil back in. And then you put the little nut right back in, the 10 millimeter nut. I'll tighten that up after I finish all of them. That's the second one. Got two more to go. I said before guys, this is a 05 Honda Civic LX with the 1.7 engine in it, four cylinder.
So after this, I'm gonna hook up the scanner and see if uh, any codes reappear. the last one Also guys, um, when you're doing this, try to make sure that you have the, the socket that has the little rubber piece inside for the spark plugs because that'll hold the spark plugs and prevents it from dropping down. You see it doesn't let it go. Make sure you guys have that socket, the rubber inside. Now these coils, these coils right here, I replaced about, I don't know, about three weeks ago. So they're brand new, three or four weeks ago. That's why I'm suspecting it's the, uh, the spark plugs because, I, like I said before, I swapped uh, two different ones and I saw different results when I put the scanner back in. So let's see what happens. So now I just gotta tighten these up a little bit, just a little bit. You don't wanna over tighten these nuts either. Cause they can break easily. Just a little bit. Now you put the uh, little cover back on here, and that's it. And you just turn this halfway again. And that's it. Pretty much done after that. I always try to carry a nice little toolbox like this in the car. Just in case any little problems arise, you know? You have something to work with. Okay guys, I'm gonna plug in the scanner, see what happens. Let me take off this little uh, phone holder. Now, to plug in the scanner, you gotta have the car to the on position without turning it on, just like that. Okay, you turn that on first like that. You just switch it to the on position, don't turn on the car. See all the lights come on, then that's the on position. And now, down here, Let me see if I can show you real quick. 
you see that little plug there right there's where you're gonna connect your scanner it's right under there you see where the brick where the gas pedal is you just look to the side to the right and it's right there that little plug that connects to the uh, scanner there Okay, guys, you see, I connected it right there. Right there, that's it. Okay, so now I'm gonna see if there are any codes. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> it says working, so it's looking, it's looking for codes. No codes found. Press enter. Okay, so let's turn on the car, see what happens. Sorry about the noise, guys. Okay, guys, I turn on the car, so let's see what happens here. See what's going on. Codes. No codes found. Let's go to view data. Everything looks pretty good for now. So I'm gonna drive it around and uh, see if anything else comes up. And uh, if it does, I'll do another video, guys. Let's go to uh, freeze, view freeze data. Let's see, just to see. No freeze frame stored. Freeze frame event not detected. Okay. All right, guys. So it looks like everything's good. So uh, I'll drive it around. If anything comes up, I'll let you guys know. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe. And God bless. And I hope this can help somebody out, guys. All right. Take care. Oh, and like I said before, this is the uh, OTC. 3208 scanner in case you guys want to check one out this is very good to have guys this can uh help you out in solving many problems on your car all right okay god bless take care